thought you wouldn't mind, Hitchhiker, if I just went over this car antenna business again. <clears throat> um, because it does explain so much of the dynamics uh, of life in the Kingdom of Heaven, Kingdom of God. In that Jesus often, you see, uh, whether we like it or not, all of us don't like this mind, but Jesus did refer quite a lot to faith playing a major role in people receiving abundance in their <clears throat> disarray in their lives. Uh, you know, like, lady, your faith has healed you, be it done according to your faith and so on. <clears throat> so there is um, much of that about in Scripture, uh, mostly of which, of course, Christians ignore because we don't like our faith being questioned. But actually, Jesus isn't referring to how hard you believe in God. This is not a creedal thing that we're into here. Do you believe hard enough in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit and so on? What we're talking about is expectancy. Expectancy of Jesus. Expectancy that he will um, go on about the business of mending the broken Eden uh, through Jesus. And <clears throat> that that's what it's all about. And, and it works very simply if you think about it in terms of car antenna. I don't mean the sort of modern, you know, the twisted um, little things that, that hang off the top of your car these days. I'm talking about the old-fashioned sort, the ones that I knew as a youth, the, 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 the telescopic car aerials that went up and down. And, and those of us that, um, you know, I remember reaching out of the car window to pull this thing up and push it back down again. Uh, you have to keep it down at night because otherwise people walking up the street with too much to drink would tie knots in the darn things and you used to have to use a wire coat hanger then hanging out the side of the car to pick up the car radio. But I mean, and, and of course, the, you know, that developed and there were, the, the, there were people who had an up button and a down button on the dash and pressed it up and up she went and you press it down, down and it goes again into the fender, yeah? Some very sophisticated IT people in those days actually had it connected to the, the radio in the car, so as they switched on the radio, the aerial came up and down. Now, the great value of that analogy is, is that it's simple. Of course, no analogies are perfect, but it, it, it does show you what happens. If you are a, a, a real human being, in fact, what will happen is your car will go up and down all the time. The further it goes up, the easier it is to receive healing. The further it goes down, the more difficult it is. So, the enemy is about the business of dragging it down as hard as it can go. Get it under the fender and you won't pick anything up. But it only has to stick up above the fender by as much as a mustard seed. So God is even exercising terrific grace in that alone. What pulls the aerial up? There's only one thing we know that does that, and that's proclamation of the good news of the kingdom of God. Uh, as we've explained it in these videos, it's proclamation to somebody of the good news of the kingdom of God it does two things. It pushes their aerial up and it pushes your aerial up. And that's very important because, of course, you know, one of the wonderful things about the dynamics of the kingdom of God is that expectation has a corporate effect. Uh, for, for using math, I can't tell you about because I don't understand these things. But what God seems to do within the body is to add the expectation together. Um, so it's important that yours goes up as well as theirs do. What actually, because then you too are praying in, in expectation of God. And uh, I'm, I'm not trying to exercise mind over matter here. I'm not saying, oh, God will. I'm not telling anybody God will. I'm certainly doing it with a knowledge in my heart when I minister to people that God's main purposes in the universe are to restore the broken Eden. It's the mess that we made of Eden that God is trying to make good again. Um, and you can see that through the book of Revelation, the restoration of Eden, and you can see that in Jesus' ministry time and time again. Proclaim the kingdom of God and the sick get healed. So when he sent people out, how did he train them? He said, proclaim the kingdom of God and heal the sick. That's how he trained people. And that's what's written. There's, there's no other training in, in the Gospels about healing ministry at all. That's it. Proclaim the kingdom of God and heal the sick. Because why? Because it pushes up car aerials. The problem is, of course, is something that we call doubt or unbelief, both. And it's the thing that then pulls that aerial back down again underneath the fender 
uh, all sorts of ones. He probably wouldn't heal me. He might have healed you. Or I can't bother God with this. It's too big. Um, all sorts of reasons why uh, that happens. Um, um, don't want to dwell on that too much. Uh, but that will drag it down. And uh, so that's really mostly I want to talk to you about the dynamics of the kingdom of God here. The major one is the car aerial dynamic. Whatever you can do. I, I don't, I mean sharing testimonies is another way to do it. But I, I don't want to encourage any kingdom walker to run around the church trying to wind up people's um, expectation of God unnecessarily. And I don't want them moving in, 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 in castles in the air here. Uh, our expectation is in God's purpose. It's in God's will doesn't mean to say that you have expectation people are going to receive. It means that we have expectation of what God wants to do. And God's will is, and this is what I, my expectation of God, is that he is about the business of restoring the universe. Um, it's our problem, is, is, is remembering, knowing how to receive that. That's the difficulty that we have. Uh, <clears throat> but but I, I wanted to go over again the car aerial dynamic. Up is expectation, and faith comes by hearing, you see. Uh, if, if faith only comes by hearing, then what we have to do is to tell people about stuff. And what you tell them about is the kingdom of God and what it's like to be there. Yeah, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God, and so on. Blessed, yes? Um, blessed, I would say, are people who look at this with childlike simplicity, because they find it a lot easier to understand and receive the benefits of, of, of the kingdom. Blessed are a whole lot of people who live in there. The Beatitudes is full of stuff about living in the kingdom of God and what it's like. Uh, I, I would cause people to be expectant of God's will, yes. Uh, and, and bless you to understand that. But I'm not trying to wind up people's aerial so that exercise might never matter um, and get healing for themselves in that way. That would be awful. What I'm trying to do is to excite people as to the nature of the kingdom of God, that the river that's flowing over them is in fact flowing over them and bringing with it unbelievable amounts of the most wonderful grace into our lives. Amen.